Barry was about two and a half months old. Uh, we woke up in the morning and uh, we noticed he was lethargic and uh, his coloring wasn't the greatest. He wasn't, he just wasn't feeling good. He wasn't eating normal. He wasn't, his normal melt my heart like a popsicle smile, little baby. You could just tell something wasn't right. We immediately took him down to the hospital. They decided it was best to, to life flight him to Pittsburgh. It took about 12 hours until we found out that it was actually Barry's heart uh, that was causing problems. His um, heart was leaking blood into his lungs and it was making it very difficult for him to breathe. They were trying to get him stabilized, oxygen, everything. It was, come on, Barry, let me hear you cry. And that was the most nerve wracking thing to ever hear because I'm outside the room and there's nothing I can do. Seeing him hooked up to all the IVs, all the machine, the pain medicine, they had to sedate him. So he, when he would hear us, he wouldn't get upset and his heart rate wouldn't jump up. He had severe coarctation of, of the aorta, which was patched. They initially stitched his mitral valve, hoping it would uh, work. And uh, we decided about six weeks later, he needed uh, a mechanical mitral valve put in. Um, we had a lot of clotting problems and uh, it caused a stroke. And they had to replace his mitral valve three times. Barry had five open heart surgeries um, by the time he was three years old. There's not a dull moment with him. He is a little boy through and through now. He is, he's pretty cute and I think he knows it. Well now he's doing a lot better. Uh, we get up around 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, he always makes me watch uh, Big Cat Diaries with him. He loves that show. Um, he gets on the bus around 8 and uh, he goes to public school. He's in first grade. And he helps do chores where he loves his animals. He's got his favorite little chicken that he likes to bring eggs in from the barn after the chickens are all fed and watered. And he loves his dogs. Um, loves to play with trucks and cars just like every other little boy. And he just loves to wrestle with dad and hang out with the other kids. Family and friends have been absolutely amazing. Everything that they've done, they've been there. They've been a, our support system through and through. The school's great. Um, his teacher definitely helps out a lot. Um, and I think between both families, you know, he's got a good sports system there. In the future, Barry will have more surgeries. Um, we don't know when, but as he grows, he will have to have his valve exchanged out for anyone. I just hope he can live a long, happy, normal life. I just want him to experience the world like anybody else could. I hope uh, eventually the surgeries will come to an end and uh, he'll be healthy. I'm hoping that we get to see him with his first girlfriend, get married, have grandbabies, go to college, and just be able to be a kid. What do you want to be when you grow up? Teacher. A teacher? You want to be a teacher? I need a dad. You want to be a dad too? I want to be you. You want to be me? Thank you. The things that they can do today, the research that they have done, he may not have made it this far. He may not be here today with us. Thank you for your support, and we're hoping that you'll consider giving a gift tonight to the American Heart Association. Thank you.